everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I am doing a pattern review for this dress which is a sheath dress utilizing Simplicity 8415. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review. All right, so the pattern description basically says it is a sheath dress. I mean, <laughs> so I believe on the back of the pattern, it just basically says it is a Mrs. Petite dress with length and sleeve variations. But to be honest with you, it is just a sheath dress, to be honest. So let's talk about the skill level for this pattern. So I would say that the skill level for this pattern is a intermediate beginner. Really, it can be for a um, beginner simply because it is very easy to sew. The only thing that you have to know how to do is a invisible zipper. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I would say that it is for a beginner, but because of the zipper situation and this is not a easy to sew pattern, or at least it's not listed as an easy to sew pattern, I'll say that this is an intermediate beginner pattern. Fabric used for this um, pattern. So the fabric used is 100% Ankara print from Etsy from the shop called Smurfette Fabric Shop on Etsy. The pattern pieces used in order to construct this garment. So the pattern pieces that you will need will be, I did view B, so the pattern pieces you will need will be pattern piece number one, the front, pattern piece number two, the back, pattern piece number three, your front facing, pattern piece number four, the back facing, and then pattern piece number nine, your sleeve. Now, I did add pockets to the side of mine that was just basically drafted packet, pockets that I have drafted for so many different dresses. Um, and I just took that pocket pattern and inserted on the side of my dress because I wanted pockets. But those are the pattern pieces that you need in order to construct this garment. Notions used. So the notions used for this pattern is, of course, your thread. And then you need a 12 to 14 inch invisible zipper. I believe my zipper was a 12 inch, but... You can look for a 14 inch, but I believe I used a 12 inch invisible zipper. Pattern sizing. So the pattern sizing for this dress, it comes in six to 14 and then 16 to 24. The pattern size that I cut for this dress is a pattern, um, a size 18 on the dress. And when I cut a size 18, it gave me a finished garment measurement of a 43 and a half at the bust. And then for the waist, I just went ahead and did my 32 and then added two inches for a 34 so it's not tight at the waist. And then for the hips, I did a 46 inch hip in order to give me enough room to where, you know, that sitting down and everything, it's not tight anywhere. Um, it has a little loose, uh, looser fit at the hip and at the waist, just in case I decide to want to eat or I sit down, I don't have that uh, issue whatsoever. So if you wanted to know the measurements for this dress, bust, I did a finished garment measurement of a 43 and a half, the waist a 34 and the hips a 46. Modifications. The only modification that I did was add side seam pockets, but other than that, I did not do any other modifications for this pattern. Did it look like the photo on the envelope or the photo drawing? Yes, it did. It looks exactly like it. And the reason why I chose this fabric is because I have an inspiration photo that I seen, which I'll go ahead and put up. And I wanted to mirror the photo as much as possible. So I went ahead and used this fabric because I already had it in my stash. So I went ahead and used the fabric in order to create this garment. My likes and dislikes for the pattern. So there's all nothing but love, 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 love. No dislikes whatsoever. This is a basic everyday dress, really. Um, you could do it in a solid. 
it, which I plan on doing at some part, point in time because this dress took me every bit of start to finish from cutting um, the pattern, cutting the fabric and sewing it together. It took me a total of five hours to do. Not bragging whatsoever um, because you guys know I sew in increments of 45, 30 to 45 minutes, uh, twice a day, four times a week. I, I try to get four times a week, but lately I've been only getting three days um, during the week because a lot of videos and everything. So other than that, um, yeah, it shouldn't take you no more than five hours to do with five pattern pieces. All right. Are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, the instructions are easy to follow. Now, because I have sewn a similar dress like this and utilized the sleeves from this pattern, um, I already knew exactly what to do, but I did look at the instructions just for this pattern review, and yes, they are easy to follow. Would I sew this dress again? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I have no dislikes with this pattern whatsoever, so of course I would sew this again, and yes, I would recommend this pattern to others because you could literally do so much with this pattern. You could color block it, where you have different um, sections being color blocked. I mean, literally, you could do so much with this pattern. The number of options are endless. So yes, I would recommend this to others. Now, for my pattern rating, um, I am going to stamp this pattern a five out of five, simply because I loved doing this dress. One, it was easy um, to put together. It came together very well. Two, it's only five pattern pieces and I love something quick, easy and fit the bill. You guys know that. And then three, the instructions are so easy to follow and straightforward. I didn't have to guess on what to do um, at all. The only thing that I did, like I said, was add side seam pockets, which you can do as well. If you want to know how to add those side seam pockets, all you have to do is right at your waist, go down a half an inch and that is where you start the beginning of your pocket. Other than that, everything else is so simple to do. Well, that's all that I have for this pattern review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, keep sewing.